Well, here we are again back with another Daisy adventure. And even though I built a cool base that nobody has created in the Daisy community before, the journey of meeting the people that I met and the group that I had problems with is what truly forms this story. I set foot in the server not knowing how crazy my solo adventure was going to turn out to be, and it all started as me being a freshie on the coast. Well, everybody, welcome back to good old Daisy. And today, we are actually getting into another solo adventure, buddy. Let's just say that. This one should be a little bit more interesting. Maybe not a little bit more. Maybe much more interesting. I don't know, maybe you guys do like the, the official video. I haven't posted it yet, but it's done and it's uploaded. Just waiting for the thumbnail. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. But it's, like I said at the end of that video, I am going to be going back to modded servers. I am a modded player, so we are going to be back on a modded server, which we are. So basically, today we are going to be doing an underwater bunker. It actually could be kind of cool. I did some test building with it, and I've never seen anybody, I mean literally anybody, do this in Daisy. So I'm kind of curious how it's going to work, like work out and do, and if it's going to be as like safe as I think it's going to be. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see what happens with it. And we're going to see if it actually turns out to, to be as good as I hope it's going to be. But as always, before anything, your boy needs to go ahead and get some gear, buddy. So as you heard, my plan was to build a cool underwater bunker base. But there was so much more that I wanted to get into other than just building a random bunker. So I had to keep an eye out to see what would catch my interest. Anyway, starting off, I made my way to the Northeast Airfield to get some gear and to see if I could potentially make any plays. There ain't no fucking chance I'm not finding a weapon right now, man. This is the gun that I find? Like, y'all really owning me, aren't you? There we go. Fuck, that hurts. What the f Where was my mag in my USG? <laughs> Did I not have my mag in a USG? That's so retarded, bro. That could have been a huge play. It wouldn't be Daisy if I didn't get hit with a bug every adventure I get into. In other words, I did load that mag into that gun, but the game doesn't like to register simple stuff like that sometimes, which led me to have no chance with that fight. Anyways, I respawned and decided to loot Pavlovo to get some simple gear, and then started making my way to Zelenogors to see if I could secure any goodies there. The fuck is going on over here? Bro, what is this base? <laughs> Some food in here. Like, what is this, bro? This shit is disgusting. Listen, man, y'all need to learn how to build, buddy. No cap. It's another base up here. What the fuck is this, man? Why is there a base every like 10 steps? <laughs> God, this kid was kidding. I don't know, man. I'm full to the bone. I think whoever was PvP in here is it's long gone now, buddy. But truthfully, I have so much on me. So I think it's time for me to go to the to the trader and make a big sell run, buddy. Alright, slight little loot run. I'll take it, man. I'll actually take it. 
So I'm going to sell majority of these guns. Hopefully I can buy a mag for this gun. We'll probably keep the Tundra. I'm actually going to have to get off here after this cell run. Because I have some stuff that I need to take care of. But I think whenever I get back on, I'm going to get my starter base going. We'll go out and adventure a little bit more. See what the word is. You feel me? Alright, honestly, we're kind of kidded now. Damn, my feet ugly as hell. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and get off. Um, have to take care of some shit. But tomorrow, we're probably going to be grinding. But yeah, so I might get on and get my starter base on later tonight. If not, then we're going to do it in the morning for sure. But I guess we're just going to have to wait until then, buddy. In other words, I'm about to get off for a little bit. Let's go, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I just got everything I needed for a starter base. The question is, where am I going to do this at? All right, this is where things are going to start getting interesting, buddy. And if I die here, that's going to be a really big loss. Let's just say that. I don't want to make it behind this lighthouse. Oh yeah, this could be perfect, bro. This is really flat right here, so this could be good. And you can stack them. Oh my. Okay, so I got 26 logs right now. That should definitely be enough to get the little starter down. I want to make a 1x3 with the airlock, so hopefully that's enough. The fuck? I am getting shot in no way. From hella far away, man. That dude has a big gun. That dude got a tapper. This is not good, bro. Bro, this kid is cheating, bro. He is cheating. He just literally just shot at where I'm at. I got my stuff. I'm leaving. I'm just leaving. I cannot die with this. Okay, I think I'm safe now, but I think that dude was actually cheating. I mean, that last shot kind of confirmed it, you know? Why are you shooting at exactly where the fuck I'm standing? It's fucking weird, bro. Like, he did it multiple times. He shot, he tried shooting through the, inside the house where I was, and then whenever I was on the outside, bro, he tried. Like, uh -huh, bro. This is a nice little base area, too. Not build here. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> well, man, all this fucking time, bro. All this goddamn time. And I'm not even allowed to make a fucking water base. That's why I can't put the flagpole down, bro. This is just fucking pathetic, bro. Oh, God. Well, this was just a fucked up situation. I basically went through hell and back trying to get my starter base going by dying at the beginning, prepping to build my 1x3 by getting a shitload of logs, and then getting shot at from 1 million meters away by somebody who was most likely cheating just to top it off with me wasting all this time to begin with because you're not allowed to build water bases on the server. So instead of looking like a clown, I found another server that allowed you to build in water. And honestly, I'm not going to bore you guys with my start. So after checking Pavlovo and Zelenogors, I started heading to the trader to make another cell run, but ended up meeting somebody in the mix that gave me some information that I was interested in. Wait, there's an event at Zelly? King of the Hill? No shot, bro. 
It's only 500 away from the safe zone, so I'm about to go do this real quick. I'm gonna make a quick sell run, deep all the money, and then go back to Zelly. Fuck it, bro. Hello there. What's up, dog? You got a good ass microphone. Yeah, I appreciate it, Chief. Hey, man. Where's the best place to, uh, where's the best place to get some key cards around here? Call the scenario drops. Alright, well, I'm pretty busy for some pretty good guns, but and, well, I'm killing people, but mostly call the scenario drops will get you where you need to be. With the fact that I was really wanting to get some key cards and that King of the Hill was right at Zelly, I wasted no time to make my way over there to try and secure it. Pretty sure this is the king of the hill that doesn't show the people in zone. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't deal with it anymore, man. Like, just shut up. Shut up. Stay. Oh. My God. What? I need to get out of here. I don't even know where to go. I got C4 sticks, man. I don't even have a base. I don't even know what to do with this. I need to get a base down. I have to get a base down. Like, there's just no other, there's just no other option, honestly. That was definitely a true statement. So after getting to the trader, I actually got hit up with a server restart. But the thing is, as soon as I logged in, I got an odd question from another survivor. He was asking if I could give him some blood because as soon as he logged in, he was low blood for some reason. I didn't have time to start recording until a little after, but he seemed like a pretty cool guy. And after giving him some blood, I started to initiate a conversation. And this conversation led to a lot more than just me giving him some blood to save his life. How long have you been playing the server? Like a week now. I've been solo for, well, I had a buddy for like the first day and then he just kind of quit playing. So now I'm just kind of solo and I got a bunch of shit to use, but <laughs> nobody to use it with. Oh, I got you, bro. You have a base? Yeah, I got, got a, I got a pretty decently sized base. I got a truck. I'm fixing to buy another car because I got jumped by the squirrels, which you'll come to find out who they are later on on the server. They jumped me four deep the other day on in the airfield, so they took my car and shit. I'm like, alright, whatever, cool, I'll just buy another one. What, the squirrels? Wait, is that a group? <laughs> yeah, that's a group on the server. They're pretty big, too. They're like a four or five man. They're somewhere on the outside of airfield. Like, they're within, like, 1 to 1 1.5 from the airfield. Um, I don't know exactly where they're based at yet, but I'm trying to find out. I'm going to find out here soon. Well, honestly, man, I don't know if you want to become an alliance or anything. I mean, you got this problem with the group. If you ever figure out where they they live, I'm going to be on the server for a few more days. But yeah, if you ever figure out where they live, maybe we can go fuck with them. They might have a too big of a base if they're a five man group, but I mean, we can trigger them a little bit, kind of get the hornet's nest going a little bit, you know? Yeah, I'm down. I already got a base and everything. I'm fixing to buy another car right now and I already have a truck, so. I might add you to the group. Is that cool? Yeah, that's good with me. Uh, also, I have some extra wall kits and stuff if you want them. Shit, uh, yeah, bro. That would be awesome, actually. If you want to wait here for a few minutes, I can run back to base and grab a bunch of stuff for you and come back and, uh, give you some stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Yo, I appreciate it, man. After figuring out this information, I was really curious about these guys called the Squirrels, which you will meet later on in this video. But as of right now, this guy that I met, aka the Goonie, was pretty solid, and even offered to give me some base supplies to get started. Surprisingly, he stuck to his word. Oh my god, bro. It... Nah, bro, hold on. Bro, trust me, I have a bunch of extra leftover shit. My base is already built, I'm already solid, so... <laughs> 
However, I did trade him some C4 sticks for that stuff and eventually started making my way to get my starter base going. I felt like it was finally time to have a place called home so I could start adventuring the server even more and see what I could get myself into. Eventually, I did get to Cherno and I did not waste any time to get to building. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Oh my god, I can actually build here. Let's fucking go, bro. We are officially secured. So basically, oh my god, that looks so good, bro. Basically, what I'm gonna do, so since it's really expensive to get nails, I'll probably just come out one more. And I'm gonna put the bunker in the middle, right? So this is secretly going to be a door. We'll probably block off that top there, maybe make some windows up there or whatever. We're gonna make a secret entryway to this middle part. It's gonna be out here, but to the middle part here, then it's gonna be a little ladder hatch going down and we're gonna be able to have all the loot. We finally got our starter base down. I was pretty impressed with this so far, but it was time for me to get off for the day. Day one on the server was really interesting to me though, mainly meeting the Goonie and finding out about the group called the Squirrels, but I guess I was going to have to wait and see what tomorrow was going to offer me. Okay, Bandit is 5.9, Black Market is 6.7. Nah, bro. Don't tell me that's a tent. <laughs> Do not tell me that's a fucking tent in the woods, bro. The trees cut down? Is this gonna be worth to raid though? That's the fucking question. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's gonna be worth. He might come back to this though. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. It's literally on those rocks up there. So I just ran all the way up here to be a hunting trader, bro. This is what this is, a fucking hunting trader and a drug trader. And after figuring out Bandit was only a collectibles drug and hunting trader, I started making my way to Black Market so I can make the cell run I was wanting to do. But that's until an airdrop popped up while I was on the way. Oh my god, the airdrop is here. I wasn't even paying attention. Another hacksaw, another hacksaw, get out of here. We need to go. In a Bitcoin, I need to go, bro. We got a graphics card and a Bitcoin as well. Fuck, I think I just seen a dude over there. I don't know, I'm gone. Fuck that kid, bro. Like, I might have to go back to Bandit Kill him instead and sell these sellables. Cause that's gonna be like, it's gonna be bank, bro. Oh my god, that's 
And it's time to go. I go grab my green card and then go to the black market. And we're literally putting that all towards nails. Like all of it. Alright, so we're 1.5k out, man. This is where shit is about to get weird. This game is so ass, bro. Just let me up the fucking stairs. What the fuck? Oh! I need to be quick. I need to be quick. What the fuck? I'm about to make a fucking bag here, boys. There's no way I'm seeing the money that I see right now. Fuck it, I need to go. I need to get out of here. Get the fuck out of here right now, buddy. Fuck, what other gun do he have? I, I gotta see. It might be a tapper. He had a PKP. I have to see if this is a tapper or not. Oh my god, I can't. I'm glad I came back. I don't even know how much money I had. The last time I seen it was 400 something thousand, bro. Regardless of what I got, bro, I need to go. That dude was loaded, bro. He was loaded. I made a huge come up doing that loot run, starting off with me looting BMC and then securing that airdrop just to add on to me killing that guy who had hundreds of thousands on him back at the black market, which meant I had more than enough to continue building my base. So after getting to the trader and buying the remaining supplies I needed, I headed back to my base location to finish building my base so I could finally focus with getting into some more interesting stuff. Drop my entire fucking kit, buddy. There she is, man. Oh my god. Now, basically, how this base is gonna work, right? I'm gonna have to take these walls down and just do some other shit with it. But basically, this is gonna be another room, right? It's gonna be a floor hatch here, going up. And there's gonna be a secret doorway right here. And with the secret doorway, there's going to be a locker covering the doorway, allowing you to be able to actually get into this room. But the locker, you'll have to dismantle the locker to find the door. The door is gonna be locked. And then you'll be able to come in here. This is gonna be locked as well. And all the most valuable loot is going to be in this little down here. But yeah, that's that's how this underwater bunker works. It probably is a little bit more confusing how I just explained it. But you're going to you're about to see because we're about to build this bitch right now, buddy. Let's just say that. Good. I need to keep a fucking gun on me, honestly, just in case. Alright, perfection, man. Second part is secured. Now, this is where the tricky stuff starts going on. Alright, perfect. So, we're gonna have to break these two walls as well. Turn them inside out. Might go ahead and do that now. Just get it out the way, honestly, man. Okay, now these...
Eventually, I got a lot more logs and got the second floor windows done, leaving my base so close to being finished. And not too long after, the Goonie stopped by as well to give me some gifts. Unfortunately, you guys won't be able to hear him throughout the video anymore because we were in Discord and my recording software decided it wanted to change its settings by itself. But after he gave me those gifts, he gave me some intel on a base that we could potentially eco raid. Thankfully, my base was almost finished. The last part I truly needed to do was completing the bunker. Damn, this looks sick, bro. This actually looks really nice. So this is kind of open. So to make this a little bit more secure, I'm going to put three more foundations right here. We're probably about to do that now before the water level gets too high. And I don't know, we'll put some RP shit back there or something. Put like a little deck or whatever. Just to make it a little bit more secure so people have no idea that that, that, that shit is open, you know? All right, now people will not have no idea that this is open. We'll put, I don't know, we'll put some RP shit back here. Put some like decorations or whatever. This is so fucking nice, bro. This is so fucking cool. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. <laughs> what a base, man. What a fucking base. Now, to finish it up, put this bad boy in here. Perfect, perfect. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about, man. I'm curious to see how the locker is going to look. How is the locker going to look? Oh my god. Dudes are not going to have no idea, bro. <laughs> They're not going to have any idea, man. That is fucking, that's amazing. We're gonna fill this entire wall up with locker kits, actually. That is so satisfying, bro. And you dismantle it. It's an entire door right here that leads to the secret loot room. And boom. Then the way to get over here is going through this. Like, this is so cool, bro. This is hands down one of my coolest bases I've done. I say one of the most interesting bases and cool bases. It's not the best. I I think my best base I've ever built before was the jungle compound base. But this one is up there, bro. This one is definitely up there. It's just so so interesting, you know? It's really interesting. I finally completed my underwater bunker and even got my storage set up, as well as put the most valuable loot inside the bunker. But now it was time to get into this raid the Goonie was telling me about. So after sealing the bunker, I headed out. This base looks so small, but it can be so strong, especially with tier three gates. I cannot believe we actually pulled this off though. I think I see the base that you're talking about, bro. Yeah, so, uh... Okay, so there's a car in here. This is an easy raid, bro. After finding some flaws on his base, I found out it was a lot easier to raid than we thought. So we went to go get the Goonies truck to jump in. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'm in. I'm in. Oh my god, this this shit is locked, bro. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I need to get you in here. Oh my god, bro. Wait, wait, wait. We're deep. We're deep, my boy.
Oh my god, bro. They are so loaded. Oh, they got two hacksaws here, my boy. That was another car in there. I think it's a BMW. This was such an easy and profitable eco raid, to the point we were both extremely loaded now, and it was even better getting raid comps and vehicles out of it. But I felt like this was a good way to end my night, so after building another airlock, I decided to log out for the day. Alright man, we are not rated. At least I don't think. The tide is up really high right now. The fuck? I scared the shit out of me. Alright, anyways, yeah. Our base survived. So today I have a couple of things planned up. Alright. Um I also have this blue key card. So I want to go use this blue key card on something. Also, we need to do another black market run to see if you can actually buy raid comps. Um, if not, then, then it might be a GG's on raiding because it takes way too long to get C4s on a server. Like way too long for me. I guess it's decent for people if they're trying to grind a server for an entire wipe. But if you're not trying to grind an entire wipe and you just want to play a week or something, this ain't the server for that, buddy. I'm gonna tell you that now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue key card real quick. It's only, what? It's about 4k out, not too far. So I think that's gonna be the first thing that I do. And then after that, I think we'll meet up with Goonie. And do the other stuff that I wanna get into. I do wanna get into some PvP today. Wait, that's open. Those dudes are active up there, buddy. That's kind of interesting. Because yesterday that shit was closed. Let's just say that. Wait, there's a base over here. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Oh, this is... As a fucking car outside. I think I can crawl into this window, man. We'll have to come back to this. That could be a hit. Damn, I'm gonna be going through Malgalifka. <laughs> no shot. Okay, this is. This is about to be interesting because I might go for this airdrop. I just got on, man. Why is it that every time I'm going towards something or want to go do something, I'm just now getting on. I'm not even warmed up yet with the movement or nothing. It's most likely going to be a fight for this airdrop as well. So I kind of want to get into that fight. stuff all right to be honest I don't even really care to lose this shit where is it at oh it is over there fuck oh fuck there's a heli Yeah, 
Hey, go ahead and go for it, dog. He sees me 100%. You let somebody out? That was actually insane. Like, bro, go land your helicopter somewhere and try to come fight for the fucking airdrop, you pussy. Wait, Goonie just said somebody's fucking flanking me. Wait, what? I don't know. I have no idea where that kid is, but uh, he did say somebody is flanking me. I'm gonna just get out of here. The fuck? <laughs> this dude pulled up in the Humvee. What's up, dog? Get out of here. What's going on, man? Man, have my evac ready. <laughs> Pulled up in the fucking Humvee, man. I was not expecting that at all. That airdrop was a little bit more interesting than I thought. Not only did I get some base ready materials out of it, but I also found out that it was the squirrels trying to take it. Not only were they trying to take it, but they were also talking shit about me running away with the loot instead of fighting, which were the people who were supposedly flanking me that I did not see. That definitely caught my interest, and I made sure to keep an eye out for the next mission so I could fight these kids to show them who the real pussies were. However, since the Goonie picked me up, I felt like this would be the perfect opportunity to hit that base that I found earlier in Chernobyl City. Oh my god. I'm in, bro. Ooh. <laughs> what is up with these raids? All right, it's not as loaded, but it definitely has some goodies. Let's just say that. trying to swim <laughs> he actually does oh, you want to meet me at my base real quick then I'll just roll with you I'm gonna just go depot this car okay bet Another successful raid in the books, and not too long after depoting the stuff that we got out of it, I spotted a king of the hill at the Storoy Tents. I wasn't too sure if that shit talking squad was still online, but I guess we were going to find out. So there's woods on the back side. <clears throat> of Steroid, we can actually post up there too. It's probably gonna be, there might be multiple people here though. If, it, if there is multiple people, they're probably gonna be in that same woods that I'm talking about. I see him. Wait, there's a heli. Okay, this is perfect. So whenever that dude gets in the helicopter, don't shoot, don't take any shots, don't take any shots. Wait till they get in the helicopter, okay? All right, so you get the you get the passenger door, I'm gonna get the driver, okay? They're both gonna get in. Oh, one's getting in the heli right now.
I'm taking a shot. No. I'm rotating. I'm rotating. I'm hitting a hard fucking flank, bro. So there's four of them, right? There's four. See a dude running back right now. He's dead. It's gonna be another one over here. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bust a play, bro. We're gonna have to do something quick here because they're running back. You know what I'm saying? You say he was in a tree line outside the tents, right? I hear him shooting. Hey, he's at the heli right now. I killed him. The kid running back to the Oh, I'm getting shot at. I just killed him. Yeah, he's on me. He's dead. Bro, I've killed like Nope. He's dead? Oh my god, bro. Oh, how many is there? They're so fucking mad. <laughs> They're so mad. You see him in chat. Wait, why do I not hear the heli anymore? No, it's gone. They got in and did the dash. Yeah, give me that hacksaw. Oh my God. I'm leaving. Yeah, give me that shit, bitch. All that shit you guys be talking in chat. Y'all just got rolled, buddy. GG's, pussy. So that definitely just happened. And the funny part about that entire fight is that it was the squirrels and their allies. So not only did I revenge the server on this toxic group, I shit it on the entire alliance. And let's just say, people were enjoying the kill feed. And even though I did get my little revenge on this group, there was no way we were going to be able to raid them considering to the fact how the C4 situation was on the server. But that didn't change the fact of me wanting to do a raid. Me and Nagoonie both had raid comps, but not that much. And we spotted a base earlier during the run we had in Gorka that we felt like we could hit. The only problem was, we didn't have any detonator. So we started making our way to the black market to see if we could buy them, but that's until I seen something even more interesting in the game chat. If you guys are confused on who 800 is, he was the guy laughing at the squirrels after the gunfight we had, which led me to think that they should talk to him as well. Regardless of the fact, he was willing to give me three detonators for free. So me and the Goonie made our way to the trader so I can meet him. It is 800. You talk, yeah? Oh, bro. Yeah, what's up? What? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Why are you running from me, man? I'm gonna hug you, man. What the fuck, man? Um, anyway, cool. Um, your guy is making um deal with um and the sister of. He's making a lot of money. I'm giving you free shit, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're trying to give me detonator, yeah? Yeah, I want to give it to you free, you know. Um, anyway, um, do you have sticks for me? Nah, no, bro. I don't. I mean, we do, but we. That's why we need the detonators. Why you sound so cool? You sound like him. Um, what's his name? Um, oh my god! The guy who play with Nexa always, man. Uh, anyway, um, so um, what's up? Um, you have anything for me? Yeah, here's your detonator. Like, holy shit, bro! I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. But how's 50k sound, yeah. bro? What? I can give you like 50k, maybe 100. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? 50k? Money? Cash? 
<laughs> yeah, bro. Why my bank account is full, man? Who gives a fuck about money, man? Yeah, bro. I mean, shit. I thought you were fucking new to the server. You pulled up in a damn heli. Me? New to the server and I'm giving fucking death metal. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Shit, bro. Oh, shit, man. I appreciate it, brother. Hey, fuck. You thought I'm so dumb or what, man? I just wanted to give you the fucking detonators because you saw what happened earlier, and um, so I just wanted to give you the detonators so you can really have my bag, man. Okay, so you don't like the squirrels group neither, huh? Nah, exactly. You get it. You get what happened. You get it, yeah. <laughs> No, they are kids and they talk too much, man. Like, they don't do nothing. They are always online. They do nothing and they just remain in chat, in base, talking shit, man. I would have fucking read their ass, but the problem is if I raise them, what am I going to get? Nothing, because they do nothing. They don't go to King of the Heat. They don't go. You understand, man? They are useless, you know? If I have enough C4 to read the 20 doors, I would not waste it on them because they have shit, nothing, you know? Can you give us some privacy here, buddy? Please. Yeah, yeah. What's up? You want to sell those pants or what? Um, go and bring me 500k and you get the pants, yeah. And please. No, 200. I, I don't have 500. I just started. <laughs> I, I before I left, I gave everything away. We just started again. I got 200k. I can give you. That's it. I'm sorry, my friend. 200k, yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, yeah, okay. cop. What's up? This 800 guy was a character and a half. Literally the funniest person I met on this game so far. He really stuck to his word about those detonators and I talked to him for a little while longer and told him to stay on for a few more hours because I would have a surprise for him by the end of the night. Anyways, after that meetup, me and the Goonie left the trader and headed to our bases to prep for this raid and then started making our way to Gorka so we could attempt our last mission together. Still the first floor. It's literally just one storage up there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that other C4 on. All right, do me a favor real quick. Uh, stand where that crate is, on the left side of that crate. Wait, 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 don't move, do not move. There ain't even nothing in this fucking gun cabinet, bro. That's all that's up here. That's not good, bro. Cause, uh, he has another tier two here. We only got a home main. Unfortunately, we did not have enough to raid this space because he did some upgrades since the last time we seen it. It was okay though, because this journey I've had on this server was one of a kind and I still accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish while playing. With that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And honestly, I apologize if this video seemed a bit lazy. After finding out the Goonies voice didn't get picked up on the footage, it really put me down because this adventure was one of the best solo adventures I've had and it was because of him. Truthfully, there was so much more content I had, but I couldn't use it because of this situation. So honestly, it kind of demotivated me because I knew you guys weren't going to be able to witness the nice journey I had with this guy and get to know him like I did. Even though I did show some content with him, at the end of the day, it wasn't the same. However, before getting off this server one last time, I wanted to give 800 my base. I was going to give it to the Goonie, but he mentioned he wasn't going to be playing on the server anymore whenever I was done with it. And seeing 800 being the guy he was, I felt like it was only right to look out for him like he looked out for me.
Yo, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Your base is so, so I was behind it before. You have a, a beach base, man. You're just a, a, a very beautiful base, like um, <laughs> what the fuck, man? A <laughs> beach house. Wow, you go swimming? <laughs> well, actually, bro, it's an underwater bunker base. I was thinking of this. I was like, what? Where do you go under, man? Yeah, so basically, you come over here, take this locker down, there's gonna be a door bunk. Oh, yeah. That's so fucking brilliant. You got a hidden <laughs> door here. That's the fuck. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then you come down here, and this is where you put all the goodies. But honestly, bro, um, honestly, I'm giving you this base. All this stuff it's in me. here. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, all the stuff in here you Are can you really have. Just going from this server? Mm hmm Yeah, tonight's my last night, bro. I'll be real with you, I was not expecting you to give me those detonators. Like that shit literally caught me off guard, bro. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. What the fuck? I'm gonna take all the doctors, man. Uh the rest of the codes are one okay. I I message you on Discord. Honestly, the Goonie bro is really nice running with you too. I know I'm in Discord with you right now, but I'm gonna chop it up with you as well yeah, afterwards. Bro. If if you could just what only do fuck? one, if you could just only do one more thing for me, my boy. Come down here. Come down here. Yeah. Oh no, this is so sad, man. Damn. I think you know what's gonna have to happen, no. man. No, man. It was much what love, buddy. Up, man? I love you, bro. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's fucking go, boys. Another GG adventure, man. What a fucking run, boys.